Ray, R9, Cruyff, some of the most iconic players football's ever seen. But they're the past, and today we're building a team of future icons. And they have to be younger than me, 25. The goalkeeper's up first. He's won three major honours, been in the World Eleven, and he's only 23. One of those major trophies, being the Euros making England fans cry, Donnarumma, welcome. Our first defender has won the Champions League, and he's only 22 years old. Not to mention three major honours. Rhys James, you're our first defender. But he doesn't make our start in 11, so he's on the bench. Our actual right back is 23 years old, winning five major honours, one of them being the Champions League, and he got Liverpool's first Premier League title in 30 years, Trent Alexander-Arnold. This next player is arguably England's best centre-half. Tamori is 24 years old and won the Serie A with AC Milan. That's the first time in 11 years he's in the team. This next guy is 19. I was six and he wasn't even born. And he's made 14 appearances for Portugal and he's won four major honors. He what? He's also one of the rattiest cards in FIFA. Nuno Menge makes our team. Some of the achievements of other players in this team will blow your mind. Phil Foden being one of them. 22 years old, 11 major honors, the youngest player to win the Premier League and he's valued at 81 million. He's in our team. If you think what Foden did was impressive, this 21-year-old is something else. He's won 11 major honours, including the Champions League, and helped his national team qualify for their first World Cup in 36 years. Alfonso Davies, you're in, mate. If you don't know who this guy is, you'll definitely know him in the future. And we've got another 17-year-old for our bench. He's meant to be the next big thing. And PK is cracking on with his mother. But now there's an opportunity. Shakira, head my way. Florian Vitz is 19 and already valued at 63 million. He tore it up for Leverkusen this season too, getting him this filthy card. He's in our team. Jude Bellingham, do I need to say anything? Birmingham retired his shirt number when he was 17. That's mad, but he's in. Tushimeni is going to Real Madrid for potentially 100 million. He's in our team, he's a baller. Sadly, he doesn't make the start in 11 though. And that's because Pedri is undeniable. Not only does he have this insane team of the season card, last year he played 73 games in total. And he was only 18. That's unreal. Pedri, mate, get in. Staying with Barcelona youngsters, Fatty is their youngest ever goal scorer and Spain's youngest goal scorer, and he makes our bench. Imagine being 19, winning five major honours, and one of them being the Champions League. Camavinga, you're a god. He's also the youngest player to play for France in more than half a century. But we still need our two strikers. Where do I even begin with Haaland? He scored nine goals in a game, 86 goals in 89 games for Dortmund and he's recently signed for Man City. Haaland you're in our team. You knew Mbappe was coming at one point. He's won the World Cup scoring in the final. He's got 15 major honours and he's got a contract worth almost a million a week. He's 23 years old but he's not even our main striker. Enter Vinicius Junior. One of the key reasons Madrid won the Champions League. He's at an insane season and he's the final piece. And this is my team of future icons. Ignore the chemistry. It doesn't matter. They're all gonna link one day. But we're gonna play a game and we have to win and get a clean sheet. Otherwise, whoever has the lowest match rating gets discarded. Vinicius left his mark instantly. Vinicius, go on, lad! It's a scorcher! Holland, you want it? You can have it, mate, and you can bury it. Thank you! On his head. Go on, lad. Like, bury it! He just 360 no-scope headed. it. Go on, lad. You gotta bury it. Hey, see you, mate. Oh, thank you. It may be 3 0, but all it takes is my opponent to score a goal, and one of these get discarded. So we needed to be ruthless. Scoring goal after goal after goal after goal. We were humiliating the guy, but he still believed he could score a goal, making us discard one of these players. But he was deluded and just got slapped up. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll love my last one, where I discarded whoever scored against me.